Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can organize your avatar parameters better which is especially, especially useful if you have quite a lot of them or like almost the whole memory spent. So what we can do, we don't have to have all the total all the parameters in one basically uh, let's say level of the hierarchy, we can add categories let's say. So I'm gonna do logos and I put the slash here. I'm gonna copy paste and this one I'm gonna do U shifts and slash again, copy paste. And now I'm going to add these to my FX layer real quick. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Because this, if you wanna organize your parameters into different categories, this is super useful. And I actually learned this uh, about almost two years into making avatars and avatars 3.0, which is unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. But it's not supposed to be float. I'm gonna do two floats. And now let's go to a layer and let's see, I can choose the condition and you can see how it's organized like this. So not ev everything is not in one list, but it's in own, its own separate lists. So this is how you can organize your parameters better. If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? What kind of videos do you want me to make next? And I'll see you in the next video.